afternoon and welcome to Restoration Family Worship Center. Hallelujah. Well, the spirit of the Lord is a lie. Come on, the fire, the fire, the fire is burning over here. And we are so glad that you have joined us today. The scripture says, uh, come over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Excuse me. I am Lady Frances McMullen and um, the pastor is my husband. Elder Tracy McMullen. We come to you from 2925 East Michigan Avenue in the city of Ypsilanti. Yes, if you're joining us uh, by way of Facebook Live, we welcome you. And I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like and share. Like and share uh, this live service. And if you're at home, I want you to grab all your children, all your loved ones, all those around you, and tell them to come because there is a word from the Lord, that the Lord has something from them on today. I welcome you. I welcome you with Jesus' love. Those that are here today, I am just so thankful because God has been merciful unto us once again, and he's allowed us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. <laughs> to be thankful unto him and to bless his name. Amen. I do bless the Lord on today. I honor him. He is my King of Kings and my Lord of Lords. He is my everything. Would you join me this morning? Our scripture is coming from the 91st number of Psalms and it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day, God. We thank you, Lord. For we have breath in our body, God. We thank you for life itself, God. Father, we just give you praise today, God. We invite your presence into this place. God, we invite your presence into every room, every car, every place that is that is uh, viewing this on today, God. Father, do your work there, God. Father, we ask that you would touch us, God. Touch us with your mighty hand, oh God. Touch us with your hand of love and your hand of grace. But we need you, God. Hallelujah. Without you, we can do nothing, oh God. Oh God, without you, we are useless, oh God. You are our strength. You are our portion. You are our refuge. And so, God, we say thank you. Thank you for bringing us together one more time corporately, God. Lord, you said when two or three are gathered in your name, you would be in the midst. So, God, we look for you. Hallelujah. Our expectation is of you today, God. Bless us here, Lord. Bless the speaker today, God. Oh, God, the man servant that will deliver the word, God. Oh, God, anoint him for your service, God. Give him a right now word for the people of God. In the name of Jesus. And God, as we enter into this service, God, heal, God, deliver, God. Set free, God. Save, oh, God. Do something new, something miraculous, God, as only you can do, Lord. And we'll be so careful to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise because it belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray and we say thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to give God some praise on this morning. He alone is worthy. 
He alone deserves everything. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we give thanks to people that might not deserve it as much, but we want to show our gratitude. But how many know the one that woke us up deserves all the praise? The one that provides for us and keeps us. We can't hold back on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for he is an awesome God deserving of everything. Hallelujah. Oh, no matter where you are, just lift your hands and praise God. For he is an awesome God. The song says, Lord, you are awesome. I don't know where I'd be without you. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands where you are. Watch 
Because the mercy and grace of God. Yes, his mercies have not ran out. His grace is yet flowing in our lives. Ha! Ha! Thank you. Come on, just say thank you, God. Come on, just begin to worship him. I don't know where I'd be without you. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'm so glad today to have God in my life. I'm so glad that he's on my side. I'm so glad he's my, he's my everything. He's not just my sidekick. Oh, but he's, hallelujah, he's the leader of my life. Yes, I trust the Lord with all my heart. I, there's no room for me to lean to my own understanding. <laughs> there's no room, hallelujah, for me to step out and try to do things on my own, hallelujah. But it's in him that I live and move and have my being. So this morning, we sing praises to him. Ha, ah, yeah, yeah. We give him all glory. Ha, ah, yeah, it's all about him. It's all about him. Come on, it's all about him. Yes, come on, we give praises to God. Come on, we lift him up. Hallelujah. Come on, the glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We sing praises to your name. Oh, 
give all thanks. We give all glory to God. Because he is worthy. Ain't nobody like him. Huh? So I get out of myself. And I give him all the praise. Have you ever just praised God and, and just worshipped him out of, out of yourself because of who he is? Because he's just a good God? Because he's a great God? Hallelujah! Because he keeps showing up for you? He's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah! He didn't leave me. He didn't let me fall. He didn't let me wander too far. Oh God, oh God, but he kept me. He's always catching me. He's always picking me up. So God, I sing praises to your name. I give glory to your name. For your name is great. For your name is great. For your name is great. For your name. I do when I want to be close to God. How 
only want to be close to God. I want to be close to God. Yeah, that's me. I want to be close to God. I want to be close to God. Just to be close to you, God. Hey. Is my desire just to be close to you? Just to be close to you. Just to be close to you. Is my desire. Just to be close to you. Come on, God is drawing you even now. Just to be close to you. He wants to be close to you. He wants to show himself to you in a new real world. On today. Yes, I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my spirit. God is saying, just let me in today. Just let me come in. Oh, some of you are holding yourself so tight. You won't let nothing in. You got hurt with everything. You just won't let nothing in. But God is saying on today, let me in. Let me in. Just to be close to you. closer than a brother. And so he's drawing you today. I want you to draw your minds in. Draw your hearts in. Because there's a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a preacher that God has sent and he's given him a word for you. <laughs> oh God, ain't that something that God is so mindful of us that he would send us a man after his own heart to deliver unto us a life-changing word. Why? Because he wants to break down every barrier between you and him. Oh yes, the word is coming, the word is coming. Oh, as T.D. Jake said, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because the word of God is about to come forward. Come on, just ask the Lord to bless the man of God on this morning. Yes, yes. Bless the man of God on this morning. Our preacher on today. Our scholar. Our man of God. The one that's going to mount the podium and deliver to us. The unadulterated word of God is none other than the elder Landis Timothy Smith. My son. My son in the natural. My son in the gospel. I love him with all my heart. And I just believe that God has given him a word. Come on, if you don't mind typing on your screen and say, preach, preacher. Tell him, say, preach, preacher. Oh, yes, because I'm dying. I need the word of life. Let's receive him on this morning with a hearty amen. Preach the word. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It truly is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice and be glad Hallelujah. in it. Hallelujah. I am glad to be here giving honor to God who is the head of my life. He yes. is he who does all things well and makes no mistakes. Uh, while you're joining us, can you make sure that you're sharing? I want to share right now. Yes. Make sure that you're sharing this broadcast. I believe that there's something that's going to be said. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to make some changes in your life. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 I'm doing that as we speak. Glory to God. All right. Uh, we're coming from Matthew chapter 13. Uh -huh. 
starting at the 24th verse. Giving honor to the pastor and first lady of this house. Yes, God bless you. Uh, pastor and first lady uh, McMullen. Uh, to my wife and children. It was my wife's birthday, so if y'all are on, online, can y'all type in happy birthday, Adrian? Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you know, she, she, she still wants more stuff today. I, I took her to Miami, and she still wants more. <laughs> All right. But God is good anyhow. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So good. Matthew chapter 13. Starting at the 24th verse. The Bible reads, uh, Jesus presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. All right, all right. But while his men were sleeping, his enemies came and sowed tares amongst the wheat. Mm -hmm. And they went away. But when the wheat sprouted and bore grain, then the tares became evident also. Mm -hmm. The slaves of the landowner uh, came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? My, my God. Wow. He said, How then does it have tares? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. An enemy. The slave said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, no, for while you are gathering up the tares, mm -hmm. you may uproot the wheat with them. My God. Allow both to grow together until the harvest. And in time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, first gather up the tares, bind them in a bundle mm -hmm. to burn them, but gather the wheat in the barn. Mm -hmm. uh, just for a few moments, I want to speak from a topic Everything that grows together doesn't go together. All right now. Can y'all put that in the comment? Everything that grows together uh -huh. does not go together. A spirit of the living God, we thank you on today. Yes. We give you glory and honor because it is due your name. It is you who have made us, not we ourselves. Uh -huh. We are the sheep of your pasture. And God, we say thank you. Thank you. God, we, we do not dare come in here while, without thanking you and acknowledging your presence yes, yes. And, and saying you are good, you are good. and your mercy endures forever. Yes, yes. You have been better than good to us. Oh, God. Your mercy has been more than, has been life to us. Yes. You have given life to us and for that we say thank you. Thank you. We say thank you. Thank you Lord. Even now God we pray that you would invade yes, the atmosphere Jesus. in the name of Jesus. And right now we, we bind the enemy in the name of Jesus. Yes, we speak against every device he might yes, try to, 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 to confuse the minds yes, of your people, oh God. Yes. But right now, God, we pray that you would speak a word, oh God. Name, and even now, God, I, I offer not but two wheat, yes, two uh, loaves of bread, and a few fish, God. I pray yes. that you would bless it. Yes. You break it. You break it. And you feed your people. Oh, Do it, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Yes, somebody Lord. shout amen. Amen. Amen, amen. amen and amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, loyalty or the act of being loyal is defined as giving or showing firm and constant support or allegiance to a person or institution. Yes. Can I share with you that this is a positive quality that is uh, seen as a high valued character trait uh -huh. that is often sought after in relationship. Uh -huh. This is even seen on all types of relationships between siblings, between friends, even between a husband and a wife. As, as a matter of fact, loyalty to you is in the hierarchy of traits uh, for the highest of marriages because I need you to know you're constantly going to support me. I, I need to know, I need to yes. feel like uh, the marriage vows that I made with Adrian yes. when it said sickness and in health, yeah. that if God forbid he gives me the testimony that I get sick and I go to the doctor's office and I hear those dark words that she won't let my hand go yes. and say I didn't sign up for this. Yes. I need to know that when our vow says for richer or for poorer, that if the Lord shifts my testimony uh -huh. and I lose my job and I can't buy her no gifts no more. Mm. All right. say nothing. All right. And I, 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 can't, I can't surprise her with any more J. Alexander's trips. Watch out. I, I can't go out for these holidays. I, I have to understand uh, I, I can't afford the door dashes no more. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing good. That, that, that's the big one for her. <laughs> if, if, I can't, if I can't afford the door dashes no more, I need to know that she's going to be with me yes. regardless. Yes. I, I, but I, I, her loyalty is not proved when things are going good. 
Man. It's not good. It's not proved when I can afford everything that she wants. That's yes. But but the prize of loyalty goes when I can't afford it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. All right. The All prize right. of loyalty comes when I'm sick and she has to stick by my side. Yes. Y'all have to say, somebody say loyalty. Loyalty. It's a big thing, and, and with all of that being said, can I share a secret with you, my brothers and sisters? Yes. And I need y'all to lean in real close, because I need y'all to understand this. Loyalty can kill you. My God. My, Lord. my God. Right. And now, I, I need to make sure uh, y'all are still with me because oftentimes we think uh, we have to be loyal and stick around, but tell a neighbor you cannot be loyal with everything. We are loyal to, to relationships that turned toxic years ago and, do, and don't feel safe or comfortable at home. We're loyal to jobs where, where we're underpaid and underappreciated, loyal to friends. And can I, can, I, can I do a quick sidebar? I can't stand people. Who, who, who only try to pass time by talking about people. My the, God. The, the type of friends who, who uh, the only thing they say to you is things about you. You, you have to recognize, you have to cut some people off sometimes. Amen. I don't need you to cut me to be able to know that you like me. Amen. But I, I need you to understand that that can't be every conversation. Yes. Yes. You don't have to be loyal to anything and everybody. We're, we're loyal to political parties that, that don't serve us or, or beliefs that stand contrary to ours. Y'all don't, don't like what I'm saying, come on, but, come but on, at this point, on. I'm an elder, and if they kick me out, I can start a church, all right? <laughs> a a a ain't no reason we, we should be dug down on either side because God ain't on either side. He's not come a Republican. On, He's not a Democrat. He is the King of Kings yes. and the Lord of Lords. You got preachers who are afraid to touch, touch certain topics because they don't want to sound like they're supporting certain sides. Y'all ain't saying nothing come to me. We, we, we got political preachers. We got... Preachers who, who who I follow up on, I, I've been following these these, these preachers. It's interesting that, that that when when these big things happen, like like, like Roe v. Roe v. Wade being underturned, they were silent. Good Lord. But but well, we're happy to cry, Black Lives Matter. But when gay marriage was legalized, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Yes. Their mouths were shut. Right. On the other side, we'll cry all lives matter and silent when black bodies are being targeted in grocery stores. Yes. But I, I just believe that right is right and wrong is wrong, That's no matter right. what and who is in office. Preaching. No matter who will get offended, I declare and I decree that God is raising up some radical believers yes, that is. will expose these weak pulpit. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on. Th these weak pulpit players who have a word only for itching ears. Yeah. We're not supposed to be friends with the world. Come on. Y'all ain't like this. We're not supposed to be friends with the world. The yes. Bible says that friendship with the world is what? Enemies to God. Yes. We think it's small and we need to know that, that there's a war going on. Oh, yeah. Whether you like it or not, you have to choose a side. Amen. You can't say you love God and still cuss people out. No. Nope. You can't say you love God and you're not kind to your spouse. Come on. You can't say you love God because, well, here it is, because the Bible declares if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. There you go. You can't love God and backbite. You can't love yes, God and be yes. racist. You can't love God and support abortion. You can't, my because Lord. God said if you're, with, if you're not with me, then you are against, against me. I, I got some, some Bible noise in here. It's time for the Christians to be hallelujah. like their name is, Christ-like. Y'all ain't saying yes. nothing. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture gives us. An example of misplaced loyalty in the story of Jonah. My God. The Lord gives Jonah a word that he supposed to go to Nineveh and cry out against it. Yes. But Jonah fled in fear yeah, yeah, yeah. and boarded a boat going the other way. My Lord. The Jesus. Bible declares that the Lord sent a wind. He did. <laughs> because you have to understand you can run, but you can't run from God. All right now. Because you, how can you run from a God who is everywhere? Can I talk yeah. about this? Come on. That the Bible expresses how big he is to the point where the scripture declares the heavens are his throne yeah. and the earth is his footstool. David had to pose a question that puzzled him. Yes. It was on his mind and it seems like the question had to be rhetorical because no matter how much time passes, no one can answer this question. Come on. The great, great, greatest scientists have come and go and there's still no answer. Yeah. They find cures for plenty of diseases and vaccines come pretty fast now. Come on. They calculate the speed of light where it can be measured, they calculated how far the sun is yes. from the earth. How far the stars are from other stars in the galaxy. Come on. They made phones that are literally supercomputers that we have small enough to fit in our hands, but there's still no answer to this question. Yes. This question puzzles the minds but settles souls. Come on. When he asks whether can I go uh -huh. from your presence. Come on. Oh, y'all don't like that question. Because that, 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 that question has to 
has to puzzle your mind. Where can I go? Where can I go? From your presence. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I can spend all this time learning the theory of relativity. Come on. And that E, e equals empty squared. Yeah. And the space, matter, and time are codependent. Yeah. But tell me, where can I go? Where can I go? And God not be there. Come on now. <laughs> If I'm on a mountaintop, yes. the Bible declares that he's there. He's there. If I make my bed in hell, Come on. the Bible declares that there he will be with me. Yeah. Did you just can somebody give praise to God that no matter where I am, Hallelujah. no matter where I find myself, that he's there? Thank you. Come on, can y'all put your hands together and give God some Hallelujah. praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So this story has Jonah on a boat, and a wind comes. And blows the boat. Y'all can sit down. You're making me nervous. All right. All and right. blows the boat. Time, instead of kicking time. Jonah out immediately, yes. they took all this time and questioned. Uh -huh. But this is what happens when you misplace loyalty. You get, you got disobedient people in your boat. My God. You got disobedient people in your circle. Yes. And you wonder why there's always winds and storms in your life. Yeah. It ain't always because you're doing something wrong, but you can't be loyal to disobedient people. Yeah. Ask somebody who is in your boat. Losing your boat. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. All of this brings me back to my text. Yeah. Jesus was sitting beside a lake. Yeah. And the Bible says Jesus was teaching. Now, I know we just got started, but can I pause right there? Go ahead. Jesus was teaching. Yeah. Like teaching. Teaching. You have to recognize that Jesus uh, didn't want to just turn water into wine. Uh-huh. He didn't just want to heal the blind man. Yes. But the Bible declares that he sat down. Sat down. Because he had something that he had to share. Come on. Yeah. He taught them in the way of a few parables. Yeah. Yeah. He had to tell them a story. Come because on. there was something that they needed. Yeah. That was deeper than a dance. Come on. But he, he needs to, to let you know some things. Yeah. Because scripture declares my people perish. Yes. Not for the lack of a good church service. Come on. Not for the lack of right connections. Come on. But they perish for the lack of knowledge. Yeah. He broke it down to them and he said, He said, the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven. is like a farmer who planted good seed Come on. in his field. But at night, while the workers slept, yes. while they rested from all that they were doing, My God. you have to understand, brothers and sisters. They didn't leave their post. Come on. They were just humans and got tired. Yeah. They, they, they didn't mistreat nobody. Come on. They were just people who couldn't answer the phone call. Yeah. They didn't do nothing wrong. They just needed rest. Yeah. But that's why it's important to have powerful partnerships in life. Come on. A strong, sanctified relationship. Come on. Because when you get weary and low, yeah. you tell them like it is. Yeah. I'll take watch while you take rest. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I'll cover you preach. when you're vulnerable. But Jesus said in this parable, the workers fell asleep. Come on. And the enemy came and planted weeds amongst the wheat. Yeah. You have to understand that the enemy came Jesus. and he didn't plant weeds across the street. Yes. Yeah, because you could easily divide and separate it out. Come on. But the enemy planted them together. Yeah. Somebody say together. Together. Think go here. Give me time. Uh, what, what, what do you do when your best friends and your worst enemy are in the same boat? Come on. What do you do when you got to deal with your spouse and your tormentor at the same time? Come on. I need you to understand that because they are together, that means when I give water to the wheat, <laughs> I still feed the weeds in my life. <laughs> Come on. When I cultivate it, <laughs> I cultivate the weeds and the wheat. Yeah. To where wheat and the wheat grow together. Yeah. But I need you to shout right now. Hallelujah. Because everything that grows, everything that grows together doesn't go together. Come on. I need, I, I know that y'all grew up together, but it don't go together. Come on. I, I know y'all was friends since middle school, but it don't go together. Don't go together. I know y'all dated for years, yeah. but somebody shout, it don't go together. Don't go together. Because the longer you keep that foolishness in your life, in your house, yeah. in your body, yeah. in your circle, 
The weeds crowd out the weeds. The more you let sin in, Come on. it crowds out your sanctification. Yes. The more you let that stuff in, yes. the more it's gone when you need it out. But right now, I need y'all to cry out to God that God gives us discernment. Yes, Jesus. Because if you leave it unaddressed, eventually that tear, T-A-R-E, is the concept of the weed. Eventually that tear will tear, T-E-A-R, you apart. Come but on, if preacher. you believe that God can handle anything in God's timing, because if you do it at the wrong time, you could uproot both things in your life. Come on. But if you're obedient, yes. and when he says to pull, you got to pull. Ooh. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me here. When God says pull, I need you to pull. Ooh. You enter into a season of your life where I Come on. have not seen yes. and years have not heard yes. all of the things yes. that God has in store yes. for his people. Yeah. But it shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory. Glory. If you believe that God Thank is you, getting Jesus. ready to separate some things in your life, hallelujah. I need you to shout glory. Glory. Because the Bible declares, come out from among them come on. and be ye separate. Yeah. Says the Lord. Come on. The Lord is separating some things in your life. Yes. He said, I behold right now yes. that you be a new creature. Yes. That old, old things got to pass away. Come on. Come and behold, on. all things yes. are become new. Yes. What does that mean, preacher? Yes. That means at some point in my life, I got to walk in a way come on. that old things get left behind. Come on. Come and on. all, come on. all things all have to become new. Yes. I'm walking into the newness of walking, my life. Walking. I'm walking into new territory. Walking, walking into new blessings. Walking, walking into new favor. Come on. Somebody shout yeah. Yes, Somebody Lord. shout yeah. yeah. Somebody shout glory. Glory, glory to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because we have to be understanding Come on. that God yes. has put in this parable yes. that there is something called the winnowing process. Come on. It's called the winnowing process. Yes. It, it, it's, it's the process of when you separate the wheat from the tear. Yes. And you have to understand yes. that when this process is done, uh -huh. that you grab all of it together. Yes. You grab the wheat and the tear. Grab it. You grab the good things and the bad things. Grab it. You grab it all and the and you gotta pick it up. Yes. You gotta extend it towards the air. Yes. And what happens is the wind. The wind. The wind will start to separate those things. Yes, the wind. And how does it separate those things? It gets separated by the weight that it carries. Yes. Come on, you gotta understand. That what blows is based on the weight that is on it. Yes. So you have to understand that God, God is getting ready to separate these things in your life. Yes. Say, yes. Lord, Lord, send the wind. Send the wind. Say, Lord, 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 send the wind. Send the wind. There's some things in my life yes. that I need separated out. Yes. But I need yes. for you to send the wind. Send the wind. Say, send the wind. Shout yes. yes! Shout yes! yes shout glory. glory! Somebody shout hallelujah and give hallelujah. God some praise! Glory! Thank you, Thank Jesus! You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You know, the, 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 the thing that blesses me about the winnowing process yes. is that you don't just pick it up and, and just Pick it up piece by piece, but you gotta extend that thing. Uh-huh. And let the wind carry out. That's it. That thing that's not supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Come on. Because sometimes we have these things growing together. We have these, we have these, these, these problems growing with our peace. We have, yes. we have we have all these things growing in the same pasture. Yes. But there has to be a process where these things become separate. Y'all ain't saying yes, nothing. Yes, Lord. It's time to start separating these things in our lives. Yes. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All because it grows together does not mean that it goes together. Amen. That, that there are things that are growing on every on every side, but we have to be willing to separate. Amen. I, I, I purposely say the word willing to separate. Yes. 
Because the separation process is still a process. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on. And that, that means that there's going to be effort that's going to have to take. Sometimes it's going to hurt. Have y'all ever worked out in the field? I, I grew up in a, in a pretty, pretty big pretty big yard in my family. And my dad on, on Saturdays, I, I love that man, but I, I hate that moment. He, he make us go out and pick the weeds up from the ground. Yeah. And you know, after you do it long enough, your shoulders start to hurt. Mm -hmm. After you do it long enough, your elbows start to, start to lock a little bit. Yes. And, and I, I'm telling you right now that when it comes to that process of separating, there's going to be some moments where it hurts. Yes. In that process of separating those things, there's going to be moments where, where you're going to feel like your elbows start to lock. It's going to feel like, like, like at this point, do I got to keep on going? Come on, come on, come on. But, but tell a neighbor, it's time to pull it up. Time to pull it up. You got to pull it up because if you let that thing grow, eventually the roots are going to get too deep. Yes. Yee! The roots get too deep and it starts to take nutrients so from the, the, the good things. There you go. Because that, that, that's the interesting thing about weeds. Is that, is that it's never just, it's interesting that, you know, you, you get some that's in like the, the driveway cracks, but usually they like to find themselves next to the thing that you actually want there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they always are growing there. Why? Because they like to, to, to snatch out what's good from that. Amen. But I need you to be willing to pull it up. Pull it up. Willing to separate, willing to cut yeah. some things off. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Just for a moment, can we all stand together? Yes. Hallelujah. I know right now we got a room full of believers, but I need you to, to, to cry out on behalf of those you know are not saved. Yes, Jesus. I need you to open up your mouth yes. on, on behalf yes. of those who, who need the Lord. Jesus. Cause right, right now that the, they are growing amongst weeds and tears. My Lord, my Lord. And right now, I, I, I need you to love them enough. Yes. To right now cry out for them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, cry out for them. Oh, Lord. Cry out on their behalf. Yes, Lord. Cry out on their behalf. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, they need yes. you. They need you, Lord. God, we all need you. Yes. But God, right now, we pray on their behalf. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Whatever's holding them down, whatever's keeping them bound, we pray against it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Satan, loose your hold. Loose. Loose. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose the in the name of Jesus. Yes. Break the binding Break chains it. on them right now, Break oh Lord. It, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory. Yes, Lord. Jesus. In the name Thank of Jesus, you. convict yes. the unrighteous. Yes. Convict them to righteousness yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Do it. In the name of name Jesus. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We're crying for the world to come Lord. to holiness. Come on, Lord. Come to righteousness. Save. Come to Jesus. In a mighty way. Save, heal, and deliver. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Set free, oh God. You can do Set it. Set free, oh God. Yes. Set free, oh God. Do it, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Sin is a binder. Yes, Lord. Sin is a, is a weight. Free, Lord. But right now, God, lift the weight. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Strengthen the Oh God, strengthen them. strengthen them to remove Do the weight. Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes. right now we call them to you. Hallelujah. We call them to you, oh God. Lord, to you, Jesus. God, God, those who are straying come away, on, God, come on, come we on. call them to you right now. Call them to you, in the name of Jesus, Jesus my Savior. in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. they won't be left there no Save. more. Save. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. whatever they're in, oh God. Yeah. Don't let them die in it. <laughs> Don't let them Save, die in it, oh God. Eat it in my whole shot. Whatever it is, oh God. Whatever they're at, oh God. Don't let them die in it, oh Lord. 
let them come to see you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let them come to see you. Hallelujah. Let them come to see your power. Let them come to see your mercy. Let them see your love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Only you can. Only you are able. Only you are able. And God, we call you able. We call you able. We call you mighty. We call you strong. We call you strong tower. Where we can run in and be safe. In the name of Jesus. Right now we cry out for the safety of our people. In the name of Jesus. God, let them come into your name. Let them come into the understanding of who you are. In the name of Jesus. God, let the righteous run in and let them be saved. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Even now, oh God. Those who we are connected to, oh God. Let them even come, God. Let them text our phones. Let them call us and say, I yield. Let them say, I yield. I yield. I give up. I give up. I got nothing left. What must I do? <laughs> what must I do to be saved? What must I do? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe right now that there's somebody right now in the name of Jesus who's going to come out of it today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is going to be the last day as they want to stand in what they were in. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you now. We thank you now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Body God. Body Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, glory. Right now, for to everybody in this room. Jesus. Mm. Everybody one line. Hallelujah. That has that unsaved person Jesus. on their mind. Can you just Save speak into the atmosphere? Lord, Lord, don't let them die in it. Don't let them die. But Lord, bring them to you. Bring them to you. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hey, glory. In the name hey, of hey, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Now let the, the Holy Spirit. Jesus. Convict them unto righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. That they might cry out, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? In the name of Jesus. If there's anybody online who is unsaved, let me share with you how easy it is. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he is Lord and that he's been raised from the dead, that it's that easy to step from death to life. Now, I believe that somebody has to come from death to life right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, for just one more moment, can y'all open up your mouth and cry out unto God? Bless your name. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Oh, come on, church. Cry Hallelujah. out to God. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. It don't matter who's here. It don't matter who's not here. I believe the Lord hears your cry. I believe right now the Lord hears your cry. He, he pitied every groan. I need you to cry out to him right now. Thank you. We thank you. Cry out to him believing that he hears you. The Bible declares when you come to him, you have to believe that he is. Yes. And he's the reward of those who diligently seek him. We thank you now. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. For everyone in the sound of my voice. I pray the Lord send the wind. Lord, send the wind. Lord, send the wind. First, send the winds that separate those things out of my life. Send the wind that's going to separate those things out of my life. Yes. And then, Lord, when those things are separate, oh Lord, 
We need to hear a Russian oh, mighty wind. Yeah. And let, let your spirit fill the house. Glory. Let your spirit fill this body. Glory. Let your spirit fill my family. Hallelujah. Let your spirit Praise fill my siblings. Jesus. Let your spirit fill Save. my friends. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. And Lord, we'll be so careful. Yes, Jesus. To give your name. Hallelujah. All the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Because that's where it's due. Hallelujah. Because that's where it's due. Thank you, Jesus. No one else is deserving. Yes. Jesus. No one else is worthy. Hallelujah. Only you are worthy. Jesus. Jesus. Only you are worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. And now we You're say worthy. thank you. Thank we you, say Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Make us all shout amen. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Keep it your hands together as our pastor goes for Glory, glory. Come on, let's give God praise in here. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for that word, on time word. Hallelujah. We want to make sure that we're not hooked up and yoked up to anything that's not like God. Amen. Amen. Displace loyalty. Amen. Only be loyal to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, somebody in the Bible said, I'd rather obey God than man. Hallelujah. Have a made up mind to follow God no matter what. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once you get tied up and yoked up with Jesus, hallelujah, you'll have everything that you need. Somebody say, well, I might need a friend. I might need a neighbor. I might need this and that. But you can find everything you need in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You can find a friend in Jesus. Amen. You can find companionship in Jesus. Everything that you need. Hey. Hallelujah is in Jesus. Uh, get yoked up and tied up with him. Wrapped up and tied up in him. Amen. He'll make a way for you. Amen. We enjoy those words coming from Elder Smith. Hallelujah. Let's give Elder Smith a hand. Hallelujah for those words. Amen. Amen. He has been promoted in the gospel now. He's gone from minister to elder. Amen. And we thank God for the promotion, amen, the spiritual promotion and natural promotion, amen, we we thank God for him, amen, he has been a great, great asset and help to this church, amen, amen, and I thank God, I thank God for him, amen, amen, because people don't have to follow you, amen, they don't have to be a part of your fellowship, but he chose to be a part of our fellowship, and we thank God for elder Landis Smith. Amen. Amen. Come on one more time. Give God praise for Elder Smith. Amen. Those of you who are watching us live, those of you who are watching us live, we thank God for you too. If you want to be a blessing to this church, you can. Our cash app is dollar sign. Dollar sign RW um, Center. Dollar sign RW Center is our cash app if you want to plant a seed in this ministry. And I want you to know today, if you plant a seed in this ministry, you are planting it in good ground. And we thankful, we are thankful for the ones that are watching. Amen. We are thankful for the ones that are here. And we are just thankful for God for giving us life. Amen. Until we meet again, may God bless you and heaven smile upon you is my prayer.